Alright, starting game one, and this is actually not looking good for Kevin. Now, he always wanted to try out this matchup, but was always scared of uh, getting Cyclone Gimp. Oh, and that Smashville platform is going to come and play. And looking at the stocks here, I'm going to assume Ice Ninja got Cyclone Gimp at really low percent. Okay, has no jump. He's going to have to either force himself to the side. Oh, jeez. And that Smashville assist. And to be honest, uh, I think it doesn't really have to worry about much because uh, he is a fast caller and doesn't really have to worry about the cyclone unless at really high percent or combos or Pope is able to combo it into Nair, into down B. He's probably back. Oh, and that misfire not helping him at all. And just like that, Ice Ninja gets a clean run back due to a uh, post RNG misfortune. Now, the question is are we going to see F Deer Town City with Donkey Kong into play? Kevin Wong running back out of nowhere. Forgot something. And we're at a game two. This is the best of five, so. Opens up with a Cyclone, right towards Ice Ninja, and stop grab. Ooh, a lot of uh, trying to either go for a grab or get away for getting grabbed. But Poke finally able to get one, get clean 30%, and stage control while he's at it. Oh, tries to see a normal getup, but Pope definitely not giving him that option to the, go for the follow-up. Okay, good space aerials to try to wall each other out on the other side, and he's dead. Now, I feel like Ice Ninja, I don't think he, he really doesn't go for it much, if at all, but he could actually try to go for um, side B pin on the ledge and try to scare Poke so that way he can't uh, go for a punish immediately. So he sort of has to respect that option, but I should be trying to go for an early up because he doesn't want to get cycling again, but oh, up is immediately. Good coverage with that neutral B Dragon Fang shot. And just like that, even game. Oh, grabs him and this is looking so bad. Oh, good stuff using his jump, or saving his jump. Wanted to up -E immediately because you know at that length he could have made it back. He gets a grab back here. And you usually see a lot for poke, but goes for it real simple. Oh my god. Goes right through the man's fingers. Down for them. Okay. Good uh, DI mix up by Ice Ninja. Able to avoid that there. Both not able to see it. And just like that, both having a hard time getting back down. Ice Ninja now with the percentage lead here. Just 
Oh, very good air dodge read. Guess that spike. And I feel like Ice Ninja was worried about that back air. So he wanted to air dodge to try to avoid it. But Hope playing patient. And because of that, he opens up into a game three with 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Again, I think that's the first time that Poke has opted for the opening with the side counter. Okay, good counter. And because of uh, Luigi's traction, he's too slow to get the punish unless Power Shield. But even then, um, Horn's counter has very uh, low end lag, so it's hard for him to get the punish. Okay, you should down smash. Actually, it does have a tipper, I think, on the non sword. So basically, her foot. Oh. Right idea. Unfortunately, just one frame off. Ooh, and guess that tipper up smash. And with Luigi having very his poor momentum, not able to try to avoid it. So gonna eat that stuff. Good pin. Uh oh. This time poke missing up, but I think you're also realizing, okay, I air dodge the first time, he's probably gonna try to wait for it just for the next uh, grab. Uh oh. And he has no jump, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Poke capitalizing, throwing him off stage, and sees the recovering high. Gets that back here. Oh. I was gonna say, would Ice Ninja risk trying to go for a counter? Oh. Anti grab option from Kevin. AKA Ice Ninja. Oh, and that's two for two, where unfortunately he messes up. Uh-oh, and he's dead. And that's why you want a DI mix up poke, because if he reads that DI, you're messed up, buddy. Thankfully, this is a best of five, so Ice Ninja gets one more try. He has one more chance to take this over Poke. If not, uh, he's going to be coming out third. And Smash Filler Bust. Certainly both these guys have got a reasonable amount of exchanges and comebacks on each other. It's very good to see. Second vote either way. Oh, very good mix-up by uh, Ice Ninja. Oh, big day. Oh, Poke messes up his double jump. Not able to get that uh, backer follow-up. Good use of Cyclone. Oh, really good cancel by Kevin. Taking Ice Ninja. And he's dead. No jump. Oh, he did save his jump, but fortunately not enough. Oh, finally gets the tipper. And just like that, one stock apiece. Ice Ninja's final stop. Will he be able to take this to a game five? I think he, yeah, he killed himself. All right. Very unfortunate, but game five for both sides. This is the classic between these two. So. Let's see who is going to be coming out into grand finals. Smashville? Smashville.
Alright, Ice Angel with a strong start. And Poke actually not opting for the uh, Cyclone opening. But even then, it's going back and forth. Oh, nice empty hop grab. Caught him out of his jump. Gonna have to push himself the Cyclone. Oh, it doesn't matter. Gets the tipper. Poke on his last stock. Ooh, turn around up tilt. Okay, air break. And to be honest, even though that did help out Pope a little bit, I think it's just in line because he has a whole stock lead and he can get as much damage as he really wants to. Okay, very nice. Thought he was going to opt to go for the ledge just for the cycle, considering that he missed it, but... This is looking so bad for Poke. But if you can get this stock and his classic Poke combo, he can easily take it back. Turn around, that's still very interesting. Okay. And Poke definitely going for the roll because he doesn't want to risk trying to die to the air. Oh, the clank? Oh, and the footstool. Very uh, unfortunate for Poke, but very uh, good choice by Ice Ninja, even though it was an accident. <laughs> 